Kia ora koutou. I have to confess to feeling a little bit like uh, Philip Sherry today with my notes here, but uh, let's see how this new approach goes. Look, I hope you've made it through uh, the winter relatively unscathed. I know it's been a challenging one for many people with the wave of COVID that's been going through, and of course with much of the challenging weather. And so um, I do hope you're okay. Look, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all at our upcoming ACM up in Auckland next week. Uh, we've got a great turnout uh, and I think uh, everyone's going to have a, a fantastic time. Just a great opportunity to get us all together again after what's been quite a long time. I'd also like to thank everyone who has RSVP'd. Um, we've got some really interesting speakers uh, who are going to be there, including uh, Eloise Gibson, the climate change uh, editor uh, for Stuff, as well as our six new board members who will be announced and our new chair. So do come along for that. We're fortunate to have an incredibly strong board and uh, the six who are coming on board are going to bring a lot to uh, the connection back to the membership and the expertise and leadership that they bring. So congratulations to them and for everybody uh, who put their hand up. Since I last spoke to you, the government's uh, released its first national adaptation plan, which is another significant milestone uh, for the country and an important first step in developing an effective and enduring response for Aotearoa New Zealand towards adaptation. Our work in the adaptation space continues, and I'd really like to acknowledge the work of the Adaptation Working Group that we jointly run with the Climate Leaders Coalition. You're doing a superb job, and all of you who've been listening to the media over the last week or so would have heard many of the comments that our members have been making. We're going to continue to work alongside government to implement and build on that plan with the urgency that it certainly requires. And all we have to do is look at what's happening in Nelson and the West Coast and Tasman uh, today to see just how important adaptation is going to be going forward. Alongside this, of course, we continue our work on mitigation work, um, particularly the implementation of the emissions uh, reduction plan. The agriculture emissions joint venture that we're doing as part of that is making excellent progress and the plan is to have that up and running by the end of the year. And I want to commend the companies that are part of that work for their leadership in this vitally important area. The so-called Clean Car Accelerator Working Group has also been very active over the last few months and is having a big impact on government policy, particularly driving momentum around the EV charging area. So we're looking forward to working with government on the next phase of this, which will see a public and private approach to rolling out charging infrastructure and ensuring that we have the electricity necessary to power that. I've also recently been uh, privileged to be on a judging panel for the Excellence and Sustainability Award that is part of the New Zealand International Business Awards. It's been a real privilege to be able to hear the stories from some of New Zealand's best businesses who are doing work in this very important area. It was incredibly challenging to be able to choose a range of finalists, let alone a winner. And uh, that winner will be announced uh, on October 27 at the International New Zealand International Business Awards. And uh, I hope to see many of you there. We have a busy schedule of events and webinars coming up in the, over the next month, including with Rod Carr, the XRB, as well as the latest SBC Spotlight session. So keep an eye out for the full details in Pānui and on our events uh, email, and make sure you get along to these. Our events calendar culminates in the Climate Change and Business Conference, which takes place on the 19th and 20th of September in Auckland. The conference is set to be our biggest yet, with over 400, 500 participants, and tickets are selling fast. I think we've only got about 50 left. So if you're interested in attending in person, don't miss the opportunity to secure your place. Keep an, app, an eye out for more conference content, including further updates from me on our LinkedIn page and Panui. Now, there's been a bit of movement recently in the uh, SBC uh, team, so you'll probably spot a few new faces around. Um, I'd like to welcome our new digital uh, comms advisor, Nicole. Uh, she uh, joined us last month, and we're going to be uh, welcoming our new sustainability manager for climate and environment, Charlotte, next month. So do look out for those two. We're really excited to have them come on board. We've also very uh, recently sadly farewelled uh, Lorette, who's off overseas, and so we're currently recruiting for a new Climate Leaders Coalition manager. If this is something that you're interested in or you know somebody who would be interested in the position, please do check out the job, uh, job ad on our LinkedIn page. And finally, a reminder on the very important 2022 uh, CFO Sustainability Snapshot Survey, there's a mouthful, which is now open. Uh, this is a very important survey and the insights that will build upon the findings of last year. So it's critical we get a range of perspectives on this, so please highlight it to the, highlight the survey to your CFO, your Head of Finance, or your Financial Controller to make sure that they don't miss out on the opportunity to participate in this very important survey. I'm looking forward to seeing you all uh, next week at the ACM in person. Uh, in the meantime, uh, ka kite anō.